Well, folks, it is Good Friday, and we have a good bit of action going on. Drywall finishing continues to go on at 18. Day one of stucco at 18. We have steel tile guys and trim carpenters in 16. And I am taking advantage that the offices are closed so my phone won't blow up all day. And not as many workers as normal yanking at me to walk every room of 15 again. But the main point of this video though, and folks, I do appreciate it, or I hope you do appreciate my candor and well, my just blunt honesty. I hope you appreciate that. Um, I, I never sugarcoat anything and this will be no exception. For the folks who have lending, the six folks that have lending involved in Building 15, we now are in danger, <clears throat> in danger of closing in early May. And I know some of you just got real angry. Um, my goal, because we are, our X factor is Fannie Mae project approval. I keep talking about it and talking about it. My goal was to have certificate of occupancy on this building April 1st, that has come and gone. And we had it called in for reinspection today, but I forgot, of course, the county is closed. So now we lost a day there. And the uh, inspections with the fire marshal will happen on Monday. If we do not pass them, because then after that, I still have a couple more inspections to go. I'm not too concerned about those other inspections, but still. Um, being that we cannot control project approval, um, we are in danger of not having it by the time we close. And legally, we can't close. There's nothing, you can't bribe anybody, there's nothing you can do. Um, now normally, I tell folks to never schedule the moving truck for the day of closing because when we do our list on the pre-close meeting, Everything must be complete. Now, this is Bruce's list, and I folded this for privacy. But our list must be 100% done, or we do not close. That's like the first reason why I tell everyone, don't schedule the moving truck. Now, if it's something like we're missing a door handle, well, that'll push closing back an hour or so. I'll just go to a unit that hasn't closed yet unless the trim carpenter can drop out of the sky. Then I'll just go to a unit that hasn't closed yet, take the door handle, and tell the trim carpenter, put a new handle over there. Or, but if the AC's not working, I got it cranking up here. Let me crank it up even more. Um, if this ain't working, pretty much that day we ain't closing. So, so many reasons why I have the highest customer scores and I have the lowest warranty spend at one year is because I don't close on incomplete homes okay and if something is known during construction warranty is not the vehicle to address it like if we knew say this disposer wasn't working let me just do the test on it it's on this side it is working but if we knew that was not working and on the closing walk it still ain't working no close it doesn't happen now this video is about project approval because I wanted to get CO certificate of occupancy on April 1. That is coming on. Now we have a county holiday, no inspections, lost another day. Now we're looking at Monday. I don't know, is it the 5th or 6th? Um, so we are in danger. I'm not saying that's exactly what's going to happen. But again, another thing is why I tell folks we have closed by mail. You know, to please come for the pre-close meeting, but we have closed by mail available uh, for those of you that uh, are trying to book things tight. Um, but that list still has to be done, and by golly, we got to have uh, project approval. But uh, then for folks in 16 and 18, that, this all goes for you guys as well. So whenever they reach out and set that closing date, do not schedule the moving truck do not put all that because could you imagine if you had scheduled the moving truck and on the closing walk we walk in and this ain't working 
All right, I'm trying to forewarn, don't do that to yourself. Do not do that to yourself because if you close on a complete home and you're patient with that, you're going to be way happier when you unpack all your stuff in here. You're going to have so much more comfort and you can get your new life going much faster. Um, now, the things that warranty is for are things that popped up. For example, over in building 14, I just found out yesterday, have a customer, she's been in there about a month, so, something like that. Well, her toilet, you know, when you fill up with water, it usually stops, you know? That's a perfectly working toilet. But recently, it would fill up, stop, and then kind of hiss water a little bit, and, you know, the water would just keep coming. It didn't spill on the floor or nothing. It was in the tank. Well, we found, uh, we, the warranty found out that it just need to swap out the tank. That's what warranty's for. Warranty's not for fixing AC that didn't work the day of closing. So, anyway, I'm feeling the pressure, and I am anticipating some angry emails. Uh, but I'm just laying it out there. It, this is what I'm fearful of. And this shall pass, but it may be not what some of you all were hoping.